Okay, boys and girls, we are going to read the Ladybug book. And I'm just going to make sure we're nice and focused. There we go. Read some of these books. Okay. So we're going to get started. I think I might have even read this to my class a few months ago, but it's always good to read again. I really love this one. Super fun. It's a good science book on ladybugs and other bugs. And um, you get to see some pretty cool things about the ladybug in here. So let's get started. The ladybug. Oh, this is a ladybird beetle. We usually call it a ladybug. The ladybug is an insect, so its official name is a ladybird beetle. Ladybugs are often red with black spots. Like all insects, the ladybug has six legs. This common ladybug has seven spots. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spots. Okay, now here is where we get to see the underside of the ladybug. Pretty cool. Like all insects, the ladybug has six legs. This common ladybug has seven spots. There are many kinds of ladybugs, and they come in many different colors. We talked about that the other day, right? Yellow, red, orange, sometimes pink. And sometimes they're black with red spots or black with yellow spots. Pretty cool. The ladybug has two pairs of wings. Hard ring, red outer wings, the ones that we always see. And they protect the transparent wings that the ladybug flies with. There's the transparent wings. There's a big picture of it here too. There's the red and there's the transparent or clear wings right there. Let's see. I think this one lifts too. Now we can see the side of the bug. There's her legs. There's the other side of her wings. Like all insects, the ladybug has three body parts. The legs and wings are attached to the middle part of her body. With its little jaws and claws, the ladybug captures aphids, its favorite food. There's the aphids we've been talking about. And there's a whole bunch of aphids. One ladybug can eat as many as 50 aphids a day. 50 aphids, wow. Near the ladybug's eyes are two antenna or feelers. This is how they sniff out the insects that they like to eat. In the spring, the male and female ladybugs mate so that the female can lay her eggs. And then a week later, the female finds a leaf with many aphids on which to lay her sticky yellow leg eggs. So she gets to lay her eggs and have a meal. And then 
when they hatch, tiny black larvae emerge. And they don't look at all like ladybugs yet. And then the larvae feed on the aphids. A young larva eats and eats. As it grows, it sheds its too tight skin. We just learned about that with the caterpillar. When it's time to change into a ladybug, the larva attaches itself to a leaf and its old skin splits off once more. Now the larva is called a pupa. The skin becomes a hard, dry shell and inside this shell, a ladybug is forming. There's the inside of the ladybug as she's forming. About a week later, the ladybug pushes out of the shell. Its body is soft and yellow and damp. Soon its outer wings become dry and hard and turn red with black spots. Some birds think that brightly colored ladybug looks good to eat but they will soon find out that they were wrong. When a bird attacks some ladybugs, the ladybug turns over and becomes very still and excretes a bad smelling liquid from their legs. They do not taste good. That's a woodpecker. He's trying to get the ladybugs. Many ladybugs hibernate during the cold winter months. They find a warm, safe place in the hollow of a tree or under a pile of leaves. They nestle together and sleep until the cold weather is over. When, then when spring arrives, they come out to look for a mate. Let's look at some other bugs. This Scarab beetle feeds on cow dung. It rolls balls of dung between its strong legs. The Colorado potato beetle loves to eat potatoes. There's a rhinoceros beetle, a longhorn beetle, a bombardier beetle. Brown beetles usually hide under stones during the day. Most are brown, but some are brightly colored. You can find all kinds of ants almost anywhere you look. And many grasshoppers are well known for their buzzing songs. They make sounds by rubbing different parts of their body together. Remember that all the insects have six legs and three body parts. Five of these animals are not insects. Can you find them? Which five are not animals? Or are not insects, sorry. Which five? There's a seahorse. He's not an insect. There's a lizard or a salamander. Not sure what that is, but he's not an insect. There's a turtle. He's not an insect. What about this? Is that a stingray? That's not an insect. And how about this guy right here? That's a lobster. He's not an insect. I think we found them. And then down here, there's snails. Snails don't have six legs, <clears throat> so they're not insects. Very good, and that's the end. Pretty cool. I love that book. All right. Hope you enjoyed that.